Tell me your name. My name Tyon. And Tyon, how do we wind up here? Um, well, like uh, I don't know. It just started a long time ago. You know, I'm from Philadelphia, so I grew up in the streets, and um, you know, I was just like any other kid. You know, my mother and everything. I was a I was raised by a single mother in a single home, me and my brother. And uh, she did the best she could for us, but you know, as you get older, sometimes your mother's best is not good enough for you. So, you know, I resorted to crime. I sold drugs and, you know, robbery and things like that. Um, you know, I did prison stints all together. I got 13 years in, off and on. It was like I vacationed on the streets and, and like I lived in, you know, inside the prison system. And, um, you know, you know, I just started out like everybody else smoking weed and things of that sort, you know, until that wasn't fun no more. And I started discovering other things. And um, by me selling drugs, like, I never really thought that, you know, the people that I sold drugs to, you know, I always thought that they had the problem. And I wasn't never the problem because I never did what they done, you know, until things kind of like advanced and, you know, I got into syrup and pills and drinking and things of that sort. And um, it just started, escalating from there and then at the end of the day as a result it spiraled out of control and um i realized i did have a problem but you know i, I never done anything about it until not too long ago and i moved to delaware about two years ago i have a father that's been an na for 33 years so i came down i was sober for four months i started off going to meetings with him but then i ended up relapsing Took a trip to Puerto Rico, everything went wrong. I came back and everything went downhill. So I ended up getting in a car accident and um, the results of drinking, thinking that, you know, I had everything under control, but I didn't. And um, once that happened, that was like my rock bottom because after the, the car accident, you know, I didn't get a DUI, no cops was around, I didn't hurt nobody, I didn't kill myself. So it was like, the worst things that could have happened didn't happen. So from a result of that, um, I ended up going to RCA, Recovery Centers of America. And um, from there, I had to, you know, I had to learn more. I had to get more tools that I can use and, you know, to, to, to help myself. Like, because it's a difference between needing it and wanting it. And I wanted it. So, you know, I did everything I had to do. Went to meetings, took suggestions. And um, after that, my 30 day stint in there, I went into a recovery house, which I didn't want to go because I didn't want to be around a bunch of dudes, but I had to do something different and live with some other guys and, you know, and just try to just try to like live on my own a little bit because I never really done that before. And as a result of that, you know, um, I stayed there for like six months and and I just kept the ball rolling. And now, you know, life hasn't been I can't. Well, I can say my life hasn't been this 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 great in a long time. You know, I always thought everything else that I was doing that was living, but it wasn't at all. And now I'm I'm living life, you know, and it's one day at a time. And um, I'm going on 21 months, um, November 26. So uh, you know, I'm just keeping the ball rolling, cause like it, it works. You just gotta you gotta make it work for you. You gotta want it. You know, everybody that's an addict needs it, but the result of it, uh, getting to where I'm at, you gotta want it. So I'm no different from nobody else. You know, um, I'm a day away from a drink, a snort, a pop of a pill and all of that. But I choose not to do that because I don't want to live that way no more. So now I'm doing great. Huh? And life's good.